All right. Good afternoon, Samir. Thanks for joining me today. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. The uh, first questions are always the easiest. Uh, what's your name and what's your company name or organization, I guess, in this case? So my name is Samir and our organization is called Forest City Symbio. And uh, what does that organization do? So it's still, we're still in the early stages trying to figure out where our niche is going to be, but um, our mission, our aim is to accelerate the creation of successful Canadian synthetic biology companies. Uh, and we're, we're focused regionally and locally here in London and, and in the area, um, trying to build an ecosystem that's going to advance the growth, uh, the development of entrepreneurs and the growth of their ventures and projects. For those that don't know, maybe can you walk us through what synthetic biology actually means or what it encompasses? Sure. So it's really uh, an emerging paradigm or um, biotechnology 2.0, basically. Uh, there's a new generation of tools and techniques that are making it very um, much cheaper, much simpler, much faster to engineer organisms and give them uh, desired custom traits. Uh, and so this opens up a lot of doors in terms of applications. And so um, there's a lot of opportunity for creating organisms that are going to solve problems uh, for society and of economic value. Awesome. Thanks for giving us the background. Um, how long has your organization been around? Uh, coming on two years now. I started this project in August of 2018. Uh, and as of January of this year, we, we have a team now. Um, we started out with 10 people then, and now there's around 20 of us. Uh, we're all volunteers, and uh, like I said, we're still trying to figure out where to position ourselves. One of the, qu the questions I like to ask is, why does your organization exist? Like, why did you choose to start this, um, this organization? So it started with the observation that Canada is lagging behind in terms of um, in this industry in terms of company creation and commercialization of research. Um, so I saw a gap in terms of uh, providing support for early stage founders and entrepreneurs. And that's the, uh, the motivation behind this. Um, but really the, the why is because this technology really has the power to solve a lot of important pressing problems. And uh, myself and my team as well, we feel a sense of urgency to to really advance this and, and use uh, the power of synthetic biology to solve some of these urgent problems. Cool. Um, what's your background? How did you get into this field? I finished an undergrad in genetics and biochemistry, and I'm currently a graduate student at Western uh, in the biochemistry department, but my research is on synthetic biology. And I uh, started uh, for Cease and Bio. I've always sort of had an interest in business, even though I'm, I'm formally trained in science. Um, and I've had a, an, an eye on entrepreneurship for a while now. And um, seeing that there's a, um, it would be hard for me to go ahead and create a synthetic biology company, but um, what I could do is make it a bit easier for people like me who would love to have that opportunity to, to create a company and, and um, and so for a season by is to support people like myself who would be interested in doing that. Great. Um, do you think it's important to be part of a network like the RHA online? And if so, why or why not? Yeah, totally. It's, uh, it's already been very valuable and beneficial to us. Um, some of our team members come from the RHA community and uh, it's very motivating to see like-minded people and uh, to learn from others in the community. Um, I always love the, the resources, the videos that, that are posted on there and uh, the book recommendations. I'm actually reading uh, one of the books I think Joe recommended, uh, Swimming with Sharks. But yeah, it's, it's a good. great resource. I, I have to be part of it. I haven't uh, read Swimming with Sharks yet, but it's on my list. Cool. And then you, um, you're pretty active or basically moderate the synthetic biology channel on the RHI online. So maybe give folks a little bit, if they're interested in this space, uh, what you guys have been doing with the, that channel specifically. Yeah, um, thank you for that. So um, we have this channel for synthetic biology and biotechnology within RHI online. 
and uh, we've been populating it with uh, entrepreneurs and entrepreneurially minded folks um, from around the world in this industry. And uh, for now, we've just been sharing some content, some interesting news uh, about what's going on in the, in the field. Um, love to see uh, more activity in there and, and love to see people join, even if even if it's just an interest, not necessarily something you're actively doing, we'd love to have you part of that community. Awesome, that's great. Um, last question I like to add, asked before the lightning round questions is, um, is there anything I should have asked you about the organization or yourself, but I didn't? Uh, no, I'll, I'll just um, say that I'm, I'm also part of another organization called Symbio Canada. I'm the vice president there and that's uh, just an, a sort of an academic community organization, just trying to provide um, a platform where scientists and students in this field can connect with each other and, and engage with, uh, with the general public. Awesome. Uh, great, great work, both regionally and nationally. That's exciting. Uh, are you ready for the lightning round? Sure, yeah. These are, should be quick fire answered questions. Uh, married, single, what's your status? Uh, I have a girlfriend. Any kids? I'm a kid. <laughs> Do you have any kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Coke or Pepsi? Uh, neither. I'm not a soda person. Mars bar or Snickers? Snickers. Favorite movie? Over the Hedge. Nice. Favorite book? Uh, the Beginning of Infinity by David Deutsch. Oh, cool. Favorite game or video game? Uh, I've always loved the Assassin's Creed series. Okay. Favorite vacation spot? Uh, right now I'm in Muskoka and uh, it's always nice up here. It's a nice, uh, relaxing spot. Very cool. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Certainly, yeah. There are no right or wrong answers, but that is the right answer. Uh, you're banished to an island and can take only one thing with you. No thing, not person. Uh, what is it? Ooh, um, maybe a, you know, a, a machete or some sort of uh, axe type thing. My answer is usually like the Rambo knife. Yeah, the ice can come out. That's cool. We're, we're playing with ice here at home. So uh, thanks here for joining me today. This is the new COVID. You can't get out. Okay, go try. Uh, but really appreciate you taking the time and uh, and all the work that you've done on RHA Online. I know um, quite a few members are there because of your recruitment efforts. So we appreciate uh, everything you do. And I'm looking forward to seeing you online. Thanks so much, David. Really appreciate this opportunity. Take care.